morning guys, it's Mandy from Exposed Scotland. So I'm just doing this wee video right because for any of you that don't know, which I'm sure on TikTok he's day justice for Reese, right? Me and Stephen are going out the day to put up loads of posters in Glasgow City and I'm going to take his way me right just for a wee awareness video. So Stephanie's at Parliament on the 17th. For anybody that doesn't know, what a mammy. She's changing the laws in this country. There's a police reform bill um, being passed on basically a, 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 on the back end of a petition being held in Parliament last year, as everybody would know. We were up at Parliament and it was to get Stephanie's petition held. Well, now she's been asked to go back to the Scottish Parliament on the 17th to help shape the new laws. They're changing the laws on how police deal with missing persons and the deaths um, of young people. So there's a police reform bill being passed um, in memory of Reese, basically, um, and all Stephanie's hard work and fighting in her campaign. So me and Stephen are going in the Glasgow City to put up some posters and I'll take these with me. <laughs> So I'll just, just quickly show you. Right, got a wee surprise for Linda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you pictures of me? <laughs> hi, 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 Justice for Reese. Justice for Reese. I'm just, I'm going to date all day a wee video. So this is for Linda. Oh, thank you. To go oh, treat lovely. herself. Oh God. And we need to get a wee vase, right? Because I never got a wee vase yet. Oh, that's lovely. Wee dried lovely. flowers, right? Oh, they're smashing. Thanks. And so either awesome. you have the shortbread, oh, or you then. have the sweeties. One's right. for Stephanie. Brilliant. One's for you. Brilliant. And there's your wee at spell and all your wee chain. Oh, love. Oh, thank you. Wee rose quartz. Oh, beautiful. Thanks very much, Mandy. Thank you. That's lovely. You're very thank welcome. You. Stephen busy. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll tell you. Say hi, Stephen. <laughs> We are at here, we're going to the sub. So hi, that's me and Stephen done. Justice for Reese, and I'll finish this soon. So hi guys, that's me back home. Hello. Wee Simba says hi, I've still got posters here um, to laminate that I've not managed. So we did good today, me and Stephen done all the undergrounds, the train stations and the city and just about the place. But we also put them on the back of buses in the would you call them as well, the tour buses as well for Scotland, so uh, Glasgow, sorry guys, so asking a wee favour, if you can, if you see um, any of the posters today when you're out and about, or if you see them on the back of buses, could you please post a take a picture of it and post it, and just for awareness, and write hashtag justice for Reese. Um just post it on your timeline, it doesn't matter, we'll, we'll find them all, if you've got one of us on Facebook or that tag is, but if you are even just on TikTok, just just to create awareness, guys. So if you could, if you see any of the po posters about the day, they look like this, if they're on the back of the buses, please take a wee picture if they're in your area just for awareness to see how far they get. 
and hashtag justice for Reese, hashtag corrupt police. So the reason for the date for the awareness and putting the posters out, guys, it's today's awareness that Stephanie is at the Scottish Parliament on the Wednesday the 17th of April to put up, have her input to changing the laws in Scotland. Um, there's a Police Scotland reform bill and Stephanie's been going to have an input and how that how that how the police are policed basically so guys i just want to say like we are super proud of stephanie but can you bear in mind that stephanie's going to parliament for you so it's not for it's not going to bring her son back right but it's going to make changes to the laws and how the police deal with deaths in the future how they deal with missing persons how they deal with now there's a thing every uh, sees cause of death is on his death certificate is una unascertained, which means they don't know, right? So Stephanie doesn't even have a cause of death for her son. I mean, it's bad enough loss since like one of your loved ones, one of your children, that you would, your worst nightmare as a parent, right? But to never know the cause of death and it's on the death certificate is unascertained, meaning we didn't figure it out. So like we'll just put that on your birth in your death certificate. That's unacceptable. So there'll also be changes to that being a cause of death. And it's unascertained. It's going to not be acceptable to not be able to uh, find out what the cause of death was. So, guys, like I said, these laws are going to affect us. Going to affect if you've got youths and teenagers and they go missing, these laws will affect how the police police these situations, right? So, technically, Stephanie's fought for nearly five years and she's going to make changes to the Scottish law. And there's going to be a bill passed in Parliament on 17th of April. And it's not going to bring her son back and it's not going to get her justice, but it gives her peace of mind knowing that she's changed the law. So it's a form of justice, knowing that no other family will have to go through what she's went through. For anybody that doesn't know Reese's story, Reese was missing for 15 days. He was found half naked in a field dead 15 days later. There was no police investigation, there was no crime scene created. No, a 19 year old boy half naked in a, in a woods. And, and there's no police investigation. No, come on. Not only that, that family still to this day don't have proper coordinates of where they found Reese. So she can't go and lay flowers down for her son because the police still, nearly five years later, have not gave her a proper where they found Reese's body, right? So that family can't even know where Reese took his last breath, where he was found. They can't place flowers down. A fuck all, right? I'll probably get a ban for swearing on TikTok. Eee. <laughs> but that's the situation, guys, right? As I said, there was no crime scene, there was no forensics investigation. Our son was missing for 15 days. He was with a bunch of scumbags who clearly exploit the young. And the one that he went missing way, she's been known to hold wee boys hostage against her will right, for care homes, and they get taken hostage in our house and they don't get to leave. So this is the character of the person that was last seen with Reese, right? So every parent's worst nightmare, right? What happened to what happened to Reese? What happened to Stephanie's son? The thing is, unless somebody talks, she'll probably never know. She still doesn't know where her son took his last breath. She still doesn't have proper coordinates and where his body was found. Now that's, that's, that's our police force, right? So it seems to be in the East End of Glasgow that we get treated like we get treated like a different class of people, right? And that's why it's postcode policing. Because no we they know no other police are like that. But there's something there's something really needs investigated and these changes like really need made. So guys, please if you can be at the Scottish Parliament on the seventeenth of April and we, I know I've got a lot of followers and stuff on here, but everybody's welcome. Please turn up just to show support give Stephanie the courage and the strength to go in there and propose her changes that she wants made in, in these laws and put her stamp on it basically and Reese on it. These laws are getting changed because of what happened to Reese, because of Stephanie's campaign. Um so guys please if you're you live in Scotland and you can beat the Scottish Parliament at nine o'clock on Wednesday the seventeenth of April to show your support for this wee mammy, then please just you, your pals, bring everybody, come outside the Scottish Parliament and show Stephanie that Scotland's behind her 
and that, that we've got her back and that we support her and that we're grateful for the fact that these laws that she's changing